Hello and welcome to another episode of Positive Parenting with Astrology. I am your host and resident Gemini Maria Rieger and today we're talking about the worst trait of the Aries parent. Now I just did a video on the top three best traits of the Aries parent and this is the worst trait of the Aries parent. Before we begin, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for your free regular Positive Parenting with Astrology content. My calendar for astrology bookings, including natal chart readings and parent-child readings and relationship readings is still open. It's going to be closing at the end of February. And uh, I am actually booking speaking engagements from now through the summer. If you would like to book me to speak at an event or do a group reading, you can email me and the email address is in the video description below. So Aries, whenever I do a video about Aries kids or Aries parents or Aries energy, there are always some Aries people that come out of the woodwork and say, that's not me or I don't do that or I don't have an ego or something like that. Now, that's, you know, that exemplifies the nature of Aries energy, which is to self-champion, to stand up for themselves, which is fantastic. And I talked about that in my last video about Aries parents. So I want to point out that when we're talking about these energies, for example, today we're talking about Aries, we're talking about Aries energy in its purest form. We never, you know, in, in real life, when you do a natal chart reading or look at somebody's energy pattern, as displayed in the birth chart, it's never just one energy, right? It's several different energies working together. You may have someone who has a lot of Aries energy in their chart, and they're going to exhibit a lot of outward, you know, Aries characteristics, but you're never looking at just one energy in a vacuum. So obviously, I don't have a chart in front of me, so I can't interpret the entire chart. I'm just talking about the energy in its purest form. So I also want to say that uh, the top three best traits of the Aries parent that I talked about in my last video far outweigh, in my opinion, the worst trait that we're going to talk about now. So I'm going to give a high-level overview of Aries energy, not too detailed because I go into it in more detail in other videos. If you want a more detailed, in-depth explanation of Aries energy, you can check out my playlist on Parenting Aries Kids. So Aries is cardinal fire, right? Fire meaning, well, we're going to talk about that. Fire meaning that it is ego-oriented sign, very energetic. It's about physical expression. It's also about asserting yourself on the stage of life. And Aries people definitely make their presence known and make their presence felt. They typically have an entourage of people about them. All the fire signs do. I go into that in other videos. Fire is an element that cannot exist on its own. It is an extroverted energy. Cardinal means that it is always intent on moving forward, on achievement, on forward momentum, forward progression. And Aries definitely typifies that. It is the first sign of the zodiac. It is associated with the first house. It is all about the sense of self, of like, you, like I said, asserting themselves on the stage of life, making their presence felt. Uh, they have a drive and ambition to go after their goals. They're also extremely impatient in going after their goals. Not necessarily a bad thing. So in my opinion, the worst trait of the Aries parent is that as we said, Aries is very ego oriented. All the fire signs are. That means that they are all about themselves, self-championing, sticking up for themselves. It is hard for them to step outside of themselves and see the other person's point of view. It's not impossible. It's just challenging. But you can have an airy sun person who has like an air or a water moon who is much more empathetic and able to do that, is able to see from the other person's point of view kind of as their natural inclination. It is not the natural inclination of the fire signs to do that. It doesn't mean that they can't do it. It doesn't mean that they're sociopaths. It doesn't mean that. It just means that it's not their natural inclination to see from the other person's point of view. Remember, the opposite sign of Aries is Libra. That is the relationship-oriented sign, and the default position of Libra is to put the other person in the relationship first, to think of everything from uh, the other person's point of view, to think of situations, circumstances from the other person's point of view, to please the other person before they please themselves. Aries does not have that problem, uh, generally, of placing other people's needs before their own. You should... It is emotionally healthy to place your needs above 
needs of the group and needs of others. At least in my book, it's emotionally healthy to do that. It's not emotionally healthy to totally discount others' needs. It's, it's obviously good to consider them, but not to the extent that you are completely repressing your own needs. So Aries is very good at self-advocating, which we talked about in my, my last video last week. But they're not great at, it's not their default position to consider the needs of others, okay? Obviously, when you're a parent, you have to do that. Now, you're the parent, so you're the leader, and Aries is a natural leader, right? And Aries is a natural go-getter, and they will look after their kids' interests. But when there's a conflict of interests, Aries is not always great at seeing the child's point of view, okay? So it is, it is a trait that Aries' parents could definitely develop more, and they do as kids get older and kids uh, developmentally become more independent and seek to self-champion and stand up for themselves, then, you know, the Aries parent typically is better able to see from the child's point of view because they're more on an equal playing field because now the child, when they get older, did the adolescent and teen years, they're better able to articulate their wants and needs. When they're younger, like elementary school, toddler, it's hard to understand their wants and needs, what they want, what they need at that moment because they don't have the skills to articulate it in a sophisticated way yet. But in my opinion, that is the biggest area where Aries parents can benefit from, from more personal development is seeing from the other person's point of view, okay? Because to Aries, the thing to do is clear or the right decision or the right path to take is clear but it may not be as clear to your kid. It may be clear for you, right? Because you have more life experience, but it's not as clear to your kid. And because Aries parents tend to be more impatient, the ego-oriented nature of the energy plus the impatience can sometimes be negative for kids because not only are, do you have difficulty, not only do Aries parents have difficulty or find it challenging to see things from the child's point of view sometimes, but sometimes they're impatient and they don't want to fully explain their position. So that impatience sometimes is, is tough for kids because, let's face it, kids need a lot of patience. They need parents to have a lot of patience with them. And Aries tends to be impatient. Not always a bad thing. It's just the nature of the sign. You know, Gemini people like me, we have a whole host of other issues that we have to deal with while we're parenting and ways that we have to better ourselves, like the inconsistency, the e being easily triggered, the anxiety, things like that. So this is an area that Aries parents can work on. And the, remember, remember, I'm always saying the best way to teach your kid empathy is to show empathy for your kid, right? Aries is also a fixer, a problem solver. It's defined, the energy is defined by action. It's an action-oriented energy. So Aries parents tend to want to fix problems for the kids when the kids really need first empathy and comfort. That's something I had to, you know, work on myself. So remember that too, that sometimes there may not even be a solution to the problem that the kids are having or the dilemma and you're gonna to wanna to fix it for them, as most of us parents would, but you're gonna to have to remember that they may want comfort or a hug or empathy just to feel seen and heard, right, in their experience. Maybe feel that their experience is not singular to them, that other people have experienced this too. The kids may need that first before you try to fix their problems, like talk to the teachers or resolve some issue they're having. That's another area that Aries parents could benefit from developing. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Please leave your questions, comments below, and we will be back very soon with another video. Thank you.